This episode is sponsored by Love Honey. Who here loves to masturbate? I do. Masturbation is nothing to be ashamed of. It's a word just like any other and should be treated the same way we treat other words. Tree, photograph, balloon, masturbation. All totally normal, shame-free things. There are many benefits to exploring your body, whether it's solo or with a partner, and nobody knows that better than Love Honey, and they're the world's biggest online sex toy and lingerie store. I am obsessed with their new We Vibe collection, which has satisfied 6 million customers worldwide, including yours truly. My favorite We Vibe product is the We Vibe Bond, which is the first adjustable, quick release, app controlled, male wearable vibrator ring on the market. I also recommend you check out their We Vibe Touch X. Its carefully sculpted shape envelops your clitoris with seven lip bitingly good vibration modes, each with eight levels of intensity. Also, for all you couples out there, the Weeb Vibe Chorus was developed as a couple sex toy to make sex even better, including Missionary. Love Honey is the biggest sex toy store on the planet and the home for all things pleasure. At Love Honey, you can explore sex toys with expert guides and advice, especially if you're a beginner or just looking to level up. Do you need to have your clit explode? Well, Love Honey can do that for you. And right now, lovehoney.com is offering our listeners 20% off your order when you enter code BALD20 at checkout if you use our link in description. That's lovehoney.com, L-O-V-E-H-O-N-E-Y, and use code BALD20 to get 20% off these delicious toys. lovehoney.com, code BALD20. Hey! Hey, guys. Oh, shit. Wow. Hi. I um, got your Christmas present. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, Did you're you going to love it. No, oh, my Christmas No, this present. is for you. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah, wrap yeah, yeah. It. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I didn't, oh, I didn't apologize. I'm just telling you I didn't wrap it. Okay. It's cool. It's really cool. It's a great I'll be gift. the judge of that. It's a really great gift. A little better than your gift. A little light. A little light. Well, it could be cash. Could you imagine? Yes, I can. It's not cash. You don't have to pretend if you don't like it. Oh, I love it. You need a Zippo to put in it. Or like, you know, you need a lighter. Anything. My my uh, high blood pressure pills. Well, I think it's for a lighter. I, I yeah, It is for a lighter, but chomp, chomp. Do you ever do a Zippos or is that like cool? Um, I could do a regular lighter in there. It's nice, right? So fabulous. I love it so much. This artist on Etsy makes them by hand. Oh, I don't know man. who they are. Tooth, tooth to hand. It is so fierce. You don't know what I, what I Googled to find that. I, I opened my Christmas gift from you finally. It's fancy sheets. Um, no, it actually was half for David because I know he has a profuse sweater at night. Mama, these changed the game. They flipped the script. It's a whole new story on nighttime sweating. Yeah. Thing of the past. D- David and I are having a good, a good healthy um, game of verbal racquetball okay. when it comes to the price of things in the home still. Oh, yeah, please. Oof. Today he was like, I'm trying to find a rug. For the dining room, that's not too expensive. So here's this. I said, this is $1,000. Mama, oh, he said, get a grip, no, honey. He goes, well, the other one I want to show you is 3000 I said, what? I said, have you tried rugs.com? Oh, mama, mama, mama. Rugs.com. <laughs> is it? No, but I went to rugs.com and I was like, can we find something for 300 bucks? Do you want you want a, 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 a tarp? That's they, the thing. David was like, it's going to be cheap. If you buy it cheap, it's going to look cheap. 13000 Some of these rugs are... T- 50,000 silk rugs, handmade. Mary, the rugs, you will gag. I've been d- deep and vicious in the rug game for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a runner. I love Moroccan bourbon well, you rugs. You do have that side business, that's that rug steaming, yeah, deep cleaning business. Yeah, yeah. I got that, you know, it's the, uh, what is it? What's called rug rats. And I, <laughs> <laughs> it's and extermination a, yeah. and rug cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So we, we killed and all the rats, but I noticed. These hardwood floors need a little protection. How I about a runner. <laughs> well, that's okay. This is what you do. You go clean people's houses. And while you're there, you release some vermin. Three days later, you come back in a fake mustache. You say, we're doing a check of the area. And we, yeah. Well, seems like, do you have a rat rodent, infestation, but... you gross pig? Yeah, and also notice this really ugly laminate linoleum. Um, that, uh, when you're in there doing the rats, you snip some wires. You come back as an electrician. Mama. You keep the business you, going. You, j- you jiggle the lock. The locksmith. Mm-hmm. And it all, yeah. It's a long con. But it, rugs... Get out of town. Not Get out of town, Mary. The one he showed me was a thousand. I was like, but how big? How big was it? It's nine by twelve. Mama, a thousand dollars. Get out of here. Are you on his 5, side? Five thousand. Six. He's gotten to you. No, he's no, he's gotten no. to you. He's he's. Mama, this is a rug you want for ten years. Yeah. Minimum. Everything sucks, girl. The mama. mover. The mover smashed the dining room table. Big piece of wood. 
It's about nine by 12. Giant dining room table. Because I have a lot of guests. I don't, a lot, a lot of dinners. I don't have a lot of guests, but they're all really fat. Yeah. So there's a lot of big, big people. Three guests. Big Huge, people. Yeah. Bear parties. And I go, how, how they smash the table and much? I had to call someone and say, hi, I need a new thing. I need a new wooden tabletop for my table. $3,000 yeah. for a piece of solid walnut. Yeah. A cher- I said, a cherry walnut? this actually grows on trees. I, yeah. What are we talking about here? I know. I Is know. Every, now I'm like, every time I've ever gotten paid as a drag queen and I think I'm a charging too much. Not when there's $3,000 rugs in the world. Mama, well, not when there's $50,000 rugs. But aren't there the machines world. making these rugs? No, th- some of these are handmade by machines. <laughs> <laughs> Robot hands, no, Megan. The $1,000 one, that is a machine. That's a, that's a print. That prints out of a printer, girl, a desk jet. I know. On l- a little card stock. I think he is right. And I think everyone's right. Because every time I try to turn to a Nine trusted by confidant to complain about the price of these items, everyone's 12. like, well, yeah, stuff costs money. But here's the thing, though. You can you can really be strategic antiquing on wall sconces for nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Super beautiful statement things, but a rug, well, a mattress, said, a, a bed frame. He was like, well, you know, we're doing a mix. He said, we're doing a mix of really high end stuff and then kind of like cheaper, kitschy. Like I said, I said, and where are those items so far in the house? Because I haven't seen yeah, that. I haven't seen nothing cheap nor kitschy. Yeah, yeah, white yeah. glove service. Don't even get me started. Oh. No. no but white mm-hmm. glove is open to interpretation, Diva. Because this whore came up in our house. These men assembled this coffee table. and It was a cheaper coffee table because I, I, I hit the roof on the $3,000 yeah, coffee sure, table. I said, sure. we need to shut it down. Yeah, absolutely. Get a cardboard box in here and spray paint it. Like, <laughs> but they put it together where the top tier was supposed to be glass. Mm-hmm. And the bottom tier is mirror. Sure. Right? Two tier coffee table. They put the mirror on top. David said, this is wrong. Yeah. And they were like, uh, and he was like, can you fix it? And he said, they were literally like, yeah, I guess. But what is the point of paying for white glove service? If you're not going to put it together the way it at least looks in that picture. Yeah. Let me tell you about my white glove service. Tell me about the white gloves, honey. When I ordered my red table talk, the white glove talk. When I ordered my canopy King, California King uh, bed frame out of solid wood that probably not probably that weighed up um, in the ballpark of seven to eight hundred pounds altogether. In Your piece, bed, in pieces, of course. The bed frame, the no, the the old place. How does it not fall through the floor? Well, I mean, you've been up there, but I mean, you're putting your body <laughs> on top of it. <laughs> anyway, so, like, what is that? Three thousand pounds? I mean, this thing came up in. I mean, it could have been a thousand pounds altogether, easily. Easily, and they carried it up there. The white glove service. One woman with a a. And a and an arm cast. Stop it. In a truck. Stop it. After I came home from the gym doing legs. Stop it. Wobbly. Wobbly. Rubber. Like literally. And I'm like, uh, so where are the white gloves exactly? And, and where I, are the men? Where are the giant, young, that's, virile men wearing them? And I had to employ. I had to have white jock strap service when I had all those porn stars come over and lift it up. But it was seven hundred dollars. Were you calling, were you calling, the, were you calling the fisting gays, being like, "Can you get over here?" Quick? Yes, please. I was like, and yeah, I need some white glove service or some black glove service for the not fisters. to be a predator. But wait, but eight hundred dollars for that white glove service. About by the way, naked movers. A little dangerous. A little dangerous. I would say jockstrap. I mean, nothing sexual pl- plays out, but like I you're know. in your you're in your bedroom working on your computer, and then big hot muscly movers just drop dropping off a table and being like, "Bye." Well, movers are inherently sexy. Yeah, they are. I've moved they like are. five times. They're coming in your house and they're touching your stuff and they're, they're moving stuff. it. Sometimes, and 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 if you do due diligence, mama, they that is a turn on. I mean, not a turn on sexually for them. It's just convenient and they like that, but. For me, it's a step in the door. You know, when I was on <laughs> Crank Anchors, I had to call a moving service and I had to request movers and I had to make it very romantically. I had to call a moving service and be like, like, well, you know, do you have anybody who's a Pisces? <laughs> and I had to be like, do you have, um, how about mm, between 6'2 and 6'5 in Puerto Rican? Oh my God. I had to like request. Did they really, did they take it? Eventually they were being very amicable and then eventually she goes, I don't know what kind of service you think this is, sir. Yeah, yeah. And they were, they were, they got wise to me. Yeah, we're moving furniture, not your fat ass to <laughs> orgasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, I love it. I rock and I'm roll. I'm very movers. open, but he love has them. to be able to read Braille. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Braille and also Sanskrit. Um, doesn't need to have any vision or hearing, but yeah, all these other things but, are important. You know, putting together your own furniture, it's fine. David and I put together is that. It? David and I put together that makeup desk in my drag my drag room. 
Okay. Probably the only fight we ever had was over that. Yeah. Because it can introduce tension in a relationship. Oh, you think? Trying to build furniture. Oh, yes. So sometimes white glove service, it is premium. But what I want is for them to come in, put it together correctly, clean up. That's what I That's what I understand to be white glove service. Adequate um, uh, bodies to transport the, the furniture safely, to arrange it neatly, perfectly, and then to clean up. And like it was, they were never there. I would even pay for the heightened version of that where they not only deliver the couch, they take your old one. Yeah. Whatever that version is, I would pay for that. Yeah, I would do white uh, sock service too. White knuckle service. White knuckle service, white eye service. Glam, yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, I just, it's a lot to pay for. And so I wish that they weren't. Um, Moving is so Feeble, expensive. broken armed women. Or I wish they put In the table truck. together correctly. I know. Or, you should have seen me trying to lug. I mean, some of the pieces weighed 300 pounds, mm -hmm. just single pieces. Jesus. And I had to lug it up the stairs. And you used to love this bed? Uh, I had to sell it. But guess what? Ah! I didn't even have to sell it. I had to give it away. No! Yes! Nobody would take it because it was so heavy. No! Yeah, yeah. White glove service. How much could, was it? It was only, well, it was only $600, but $700 shipping white glove service fee, honey. Ah! Yeah, but it's beautiful. It was sumptuous. Casper. Mahogany woodwork. Casper? No, no, the bed frame. But is the mattress a Casper? The Casper, yeah, it was a Casper. I sleep on that Casper? Love it. It's fabulous. I yeah. sleep, yeah. I sleep like a baby well, on heroin. Okay, there you go. Like, yeah. drool, yeah. dream, ar yeah. the, REM, the REM cycle? Yeah. Violent. Pinpoint, <laughs> pinpoint like, pupils, glassy eyes, just unwakeable. Aspirating on your vomit. Dave, <laughs> David keeps it. 60 degrees in the house. Oh, I climb Saint underneath David. his big hairy body yeah. and I put him on top of me like a water bottle <laughs> and I don't emerge until I see my shadow. Like I sleep nine hours straight through yeah. every night. It's fucking fierce. That is a privilege and it's a pleasure. And I wish everybody, it's a, it's a human right. It's a human right. That was the thing that David it's was human right. trying to get me to spend money on was the bed. And I complained the whole time until the first night in the bed. When I laid on the fancy sheets with the fancy headboard and the fancy, I said, yes. take what you want. Mama, take it all. Take, take the microwave. Family, yeah. Take my friends. <laughs> take the clothes. Take anything. But you can't take this bed away from me now. I'm shocked at how much. So I had to downgrade to a queen. Oh, my God. Uh, um, but uh, the it's. I think it's funny that you are in a muscle, like a mass gaining journey. Mm -hmm. And then you get the smaller bed. What you're going to become the whale. <laughs> no, you're going to be like shoulder to shoulder ends in the mattress. Well, I'm going to be like Rose on the, on the little piece of wood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jack is going to have to go under the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, it's this he I think it's helix helix mama. They, they, they the, turned the this mattress. party so tightly mm -hmm. screwed it in just right. The mattress, the mattress. Yeah. It's fierce. It's fierce. And it's not all things being, you know, all things considered, a car is very expensive. 20,000, 50,000, 400,000. Mm -hmm. So it's like 2,500 bucks. Love it. And I sleep on it every night. I you put know, my naked body in that bed every night. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Becca, who, you know, she worked at uh, Steinhoffels, which is a big mattress store in, in the Midwest. And she always said to the people buying mattress, she said, you spend a third of your life on the mattress. Why would you settle? Why would you settle? Eat rice a -roni, eat crap for, you know what I mean? Like I would rather eat SpaghettiOs. Rice a -roni is not crap. Okay, sorry, but SpaghettiOs, Chef Boyardee. Why are you listing my favorite foods <laughs> and saying they're all crap? Let's shit on the real shitty foods. Celery, <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> yeah, you know, but like uh, ramen for yeah. dinner. It's worth the sacrifice. If I knew then what I know now, I definitely would have got a better mattress. You know, you're in a different financial bracket than you were, let's say, 10 years ago, I think. Even so, though. But I'm saying it, $2,000, is you can save up for that in two years. I could have when I was poor. I mean, I paid back 15000 when I was making no money. No, I'm done talking about the mattress. This is about something else. Well, I have not done talking. <laughs> I was going to ask, based on shitty foods, cheap foods, oh. what's a food that no matter how how ridiculous if you became jeff bezos uh -huh. what is the super dirt cheap food that you like love oh but see i am the wrong person to ask because i don't it the the decadence in my food consumption is all about the service and the preparation people driving it to my house that's where okay. i get decadent but girl it's about zanku it's chinese it's i love to eat thai mm -hmm. that's all that's my cuisine you should go on like a miss big tour like go to asia and just eat 
See, Asia uh, freaks me out because no sweet breakfast. I got to have a sweet breakfast. I can't eat noodles and clams for breakfast. <laughs> no, Wait, I do can't. You not, I do cannot. You, not like, you don't even like, like eggs and toast for breakfast? Uh, no, I love that. It's Along with breakfast pancake. potatoes. I love it. Love it. Diner special, two, two, two at the parks. Do you like the, French toast? I love French toast. I me love too. pancakes. I love sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs with hot sauce. Hot sauce. I love breakfast. Dave is not a breakfast Bre person. This morning he woke up and I was I was making He's one. Not a, what do you I was mean? making two eggs and one piece of wheat toast. I like a simple plain wow. breakfast. Yeah, monk Sarah style. Sarah plain and tall. Yeah. yeah. And he walks in and I'm apparently making Jiffy Pop. That's how I cook. But <laughs> uh, he walks in and goes, oh, and none for me. I go, you don't eat breakfast. You never eat breakfast. Hey, we got to we gotta flip the script on that because breakfast is the most important it's meal of the so, day. I love breakfast. I love it too. Wow. I love it. Cereal. Love it. Yeah. Eggs and toast and um, uh, potatoes. Love it. Yeah. Bitch, these fr these frozen potatoes from Orida, mm -hmm. they come with onions and red and green peppers mixed in them. Mm -hmm. Put them in the pan, crack an egg over it. Mama. Oh my God. What would you say to silver dollar pancakes, fresh squeezed orange juice, oh. turkey bacon, uh -huh. or fake and bacon. Fake and bacon. Um, and then perhaps like a, an oat milk flat white. Grape juice. Grapefruit juice. Conquered grape juice. Just a shot. Uh. <laughs> And I love those like morning uh, ginger shots. Absolutely. Get me together. Ginger and pepper. First thing Woo. in the morning, nose bleeding. Yeah. Stomach puking. Yeah. Love Ulcers. it. <laughs> Ulcers pumping. Someday we should open a breakfast spot. I, I listen. Where I've, we set the standard incredibly high for good breakfast food. But you know what though? So in LA, it's a problem. Back in Boston, there was this place called Mike and Patty's. I lived and breathed by this. It was mm -hmm. breakfast and lunch. Two blocks from my house in the Bay Village. Mm-hmm. Literally four by four square feet. Oh, wow. Okay. Like fit three people on a stool. Lines down the block. Artisanal, yada, yada, yada. They named a sandwich after me. They called, well, it was called Brian Toast. It was called Brian Toast. It was, listen to this, Is breakfast. This before Drag Race? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I was in the neighborhood. So it's two pieces of toast. It's toast, cinnamon, honey butter, griddled, like French toast. And so it's- um Cinnamon, honey butter on bread. Cinnamon, honey butter on bread, and then griddled. Okay. And then powdered sugar over it. Whoa. It is, it was so delicious. It was so delicious. And they called it Brian Toast. Open a breakfast. Yeah. But the we point of that do... story is it folded. It's so hard to keep oh, up. It's so hard. It's breakfast. And in LA, you have to charge prices that are so unreasonable for breakfast. Uh, yeah. But if we make the quality good, uh, if we make it truly the best French toast in the neighborhood. Truly the best coffee, the okay. best everything. Yeah, I mean, we there is some breakfast. competition. And you know I why love I love to take breakfast. something we love and make money off it? I mean, I love, I would love to be uh, serving coffee behind the counter in drag every day. Today's podcast is brought to you by Tommy John. Listen, when you're young, spring break is all about what you take off uh, and I would know I'm 21. As an adult, make it about what you put on. Lounge anywhere from poolside to inside in the new Tommy John loungewear. You guys, I gotta tell you, as a person who wears very uncomfortable clothing for a living, the clothing that I'm wearing when I'm not working has to balance that out. It has to be extremely comfortable. When you wear Tommy John, you are that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Laying down, eating, not standing, eating some more, some of my favorite activities. Tommy John loungewear pajamas and underwear have dozens of comfort innovations like luxuriously soft tri-blend and micromodal fabrics with four way stretch. Girl, that's a drag queen's best friend. Tommy John's been covering our butts for 15 years, protecting our most valuable assets with softness and style. With over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five-star reviews, people love Tommy John. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers, they have fanatics. One Tommy John fanatic raves, I bought a pair of loungewear and after wearing them for two days, I got every other color available. Girl, that's me. If I find a hat I like or a pair of jeans I like, I'm just gonna get every single item. I love wearing my Tommy John pajama pants because I just need to sleep with a fabric over me, but I can't be hot, but also can't be cold. I'm a very picky sleeper. Everything's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Shop Tommy John's colorful new spring designs at tommyjohn.com slash bald and get 20% off your first order. You guys, nobody is a bigger believer in the importance of liking your underwear than me. 
Save 20% right now at tommyjohn.com slash bald. See site for details. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Feeling down in the dumps? Feeling confused? Maybe you've painted yourself into a corner, literally or figuratively. But guess what? What's in that corner with you? The computer. What's on that computer? Access to therapy, honey. Listen, when you're at your best, you can do great things, but sometimes life gets you bogged down and you can't do shit. So it's important to access the tools that allow you to live your best life. And guess what? Working with a therapist is a tool and they can get you closer to the best version of you. Now, these days, traffic is rotten. I mean, you're probably listening to this podcast in a car on your commute, the two hour commute to Santa Monica. That is annoying. And when you get home, you don't want to drive back to therapy. So you do it online and BetterHelp is exactly that vehicle to take you there, figuratively speaking. Um, I benefit from therapy all the time. I saw a woman in Westwood and she turned me out. I had a problem. I said, this is my problem. And she said, oh, let's solve it. Oh, and we did. So if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a wonderful option. It is convenient, it's flexible, it's affordable, and entirely online. Did I mention it's online? No more waiting rooms, no more gas, guzzling car trips. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge, honey. So if you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash bald. I worked at the motel on Christmas. I showed up in drag and I served happy hour. You did? Can I tell you about this? That I showed up in drag. People, guests start checking in about three, four. You showed and up in drag. I was there in drag and people would ring the doorbell and they'd have their suitcases and I would go open the door. Hi, this is Karen from hospitality. <laughs> but I thought they were going to be like, oh my God, Trixie. What do they do? Fear. <laughs> Faces white. Faces Tongue of death. swollen. Eyes bloodshot. Silent. It. I'm walking to the, I'm, I'm in drag with their suitcases. I go, isn't it beautiful? We have you in the Malibu. You're going to love it. And I, can I recommend our notch? Silence. Terrified of me. They go into their rooms. Then Crying. they know I'm still there. Oh. I'm out there with my tray serving happy hour. They're coming out of their rooms like this. Wait, wait, what is because it? Because gay is it? Fear. fear. They weren't ready for me to be there. So I thought it'd be a fun holiday treat. At the Trixie Motel. But eventually I left because I said, I think I'm killing the vibe. <laughs> Everyone's afraid of me, so I gotta go. But I was serving drinks to the people, and I was like, "Damn, what it, a bummer!" It, it was fun. It was really fun. But I was like, "Oh, they're scared. I should go." I feel like I should have served the drinks as a buffer, and then you come out as a big grand reveal, and then they're like, "Whoa!" Well, we did have a guest stay the night after you stayed in that room. What they say happened? Well, there? I told them you took a bath, and they were like, "Well, then I'm taking one." People want to be close to you. Oh, wow. Well, and it's funny because that, um, that tub is a little shallow for me because I got long legs. And um, I and noticed. You're big. I, yeah. And I miss. Yeah, when I noticed, you got in, did it empty out completely? It, well, it almost did. But then I noticed the little head of my penis, my teeny little acorn peeny pecker mm -hmm. was above the water. And you had to pee. So you just filled the tub right back up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, have your. Okay. Breakfast. I have this. Well, not breakfast fantasy, but I do have this kind of semi recurring sexual fantasy that it probably will never happen. Because it involves a lot of cleanup. I want to piss in the bed on somebody. Okay. Like, whoa. Do it. Oh, wait. Are you surprised in this scenario? Um, well, what was that sound? It, <laughs> it seems like you want to be surprised. I want it to be spontaneous, kind of. Because I don't want to lay down the rubber sheet. You know what I'm saying? It would involve a mess of horrible, pissy cleanup. Well, the problem is that piss is going in the mattress. Well, you not can't the clean piss out of the middle of the mattress. No, no, so no, no, no. I do have a mattress protector in, in, um, since oh, great. I am getting into fisting, I'm going to do the, um, the latex rubber sheet. Or I was going to say, why don't you do a latex sheet on the bottom Yeah, and that way, but I want to do it in a hotel, okay. which is so rude. And I would just never, can you I, not do it at my motel? I would never, okay. I piss in the sink only there. Okay. <laughs> By the way, for the listeners, I stayed at the Trixie motel and I didn't, haven't uploaded my vlog yet about it. My extensive <laughs> vlog. I'm still waiting on YouTube to figure out that out. But uh, it was. You got to get YouTube down here. I, yeah, I was waiting for them all night long. Um, it was really great. Oh, it was good. really great. I was very skeptical because I was like, motel, blah. You know, I want to stay at the Four Seasons. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it was, it was so cute. The bed was very comfortable. Wonderful Casper. night's sleep. Um, and then even for me, yeehaw, cowgirl, not exactly my vibe. I totally sank into the vibe. 
a lovely little kitchenette, breakfast nook, outdoor area, smoking only for me. And um, a refrigerator, I went to the grocery store and I yeah. loaded up on groceries. That room also has the full bar. It has like the bar and you the can vanity. sit in your computer. The vanity. The vanity, I mean, Mary. Fucking, yeah. There's nothing. Water was a little brown at first, but that happens a lot of places. And then you got in the water and it got browner. <laughs> then we get black. <laughs> oh, are you here? When I don't use that shower for a few days, when I turn it on. Yeah. It's ended in time. Black diarrhea. It's blood. Yeah, yeah, it's black it's, diarrhea. It's chunky. Yeah. Do you know about um, uh, the fucking, I don't even want to talk about distilled water. Who gives a shit? Now, I want to go back to, bre- bre- I want to, go back to breakfast. Yes. Do you like breakfast sandwiches? So here's the problem. No. What? I know. I know. That's Here, like the whole I, thing. I know, I know, I know. I just can't get on the sandwich game. So this is my breakfast. I got to have something sweet. Uh-huh. I don't have to, but I prefer, like even toast and jam and jelly. That's something sweet. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So English breakfast, literally fuck the fuck out of here. Girl, get out of fuck here. Fuck out of here with your get your baked beans, beans and your half tomato your, and get and the your fuck out of here. Hockey pucks and, and, and mushrooms. Marinated mushrooms. Mushrooms. Tomatoes. Mary. Girl. Potatoes. Bye. Okay. So it is um brioche French toast or a lovely fluffy pancake. Doesn't have to be flavored with blueberries, but I'm certainly welcome to That's that. That's nice. And then one or two. And then slices of bacon, sausage, um, like not wet, kind of dryish um, scrambled eggs, more well done, and then Tabasco and uh, chupa chupa chupacabra sauce, and then um, uh, and then that's it. Do you do you like you know when we were in Europe, I was trying to they do their eggs very runny, and I've been trying to get more into that because I think as I get older, I do like it. You like wet eggs. Not wet, but like Americans notoriously overcook eggs. You know that, right? Like the rest of the world is like, why are your eggs rubber? No, because I like them fluffy. We, but we cook the moisture out of them. But see, I don't care. I like my turkey dry. I like my turkey like jerky on Thanksgiving. Yeah. This turkey's you so moist. I'm like, ugh. You don't even like like a like a, a bagel, cheese, and egg. Like, see, oh, I don't oh, do cheese. Oh, see, I that's what the condiments. sandwich is all about. Yeah, sandwich, sandwich is all about it's all the, cheese. the co- cheese and the condiments. Okay, it's all making sense now. Yeah. Love brioche French toast. Oh, my God. With compote. Girl. Waffles. Compote. Apples. Love girl, waffle. you ever been to the original Pancake House? The, the, ap- the, 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 the apple the waffle. Giant, the giant the apple giant cinnamon apple waffle, honey. I had one when we were in in Canada. I it's ate the whole so fucking cunty. thing. It's so cunty. We used to call it the Big Apple back in Bickford's. We used to smoke this big. It, yeah. There was a challenge to eat the whole thing. You like donuts? I certainly do. Mary, crispy the cream, apple fritter, hot and it's fresh. The California donuts in Hollywood. The apple fritter there. Yeah. The Tarantina wig. Wig, wig flew wig. the chat. Cronuts? Okay. Do you know what a cronut is? I sure do. It's a croissant and a donut. It's lovely. How do they do it? <laughs> I'm like. I, it takes. I don't cook like other people cook. Yeah, at, like at all. Yeah, but I mean, if it's green, I know you do cook. If it's Green Chef or something, I'll yeah. follow it. Mm-hmm. But somebody at some point invented a cronut. They, they also said, invented penicillin too, though. Mama. But that doesn't matter. Okay, how has that helped anyone? I'm talking about donuts. People are waiting in line for cronuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I've been going to this California donuts place enough in Hollywood that I'm waiting for them to finally ask my name because I want to be local. I want a brine toast. Yes, yes. But I go LA's there every day, that. and LA's they couldn't care less. Of course not. They're like LA. But Julie Roberts was just in here and she slapped me. So, yeah. No, they'll be like, another cronut? I'm like, yeah. Oh, gag. I want another one. Is that okay? What's your, do you like Boston cream? You know, put me in jail. Fuck me in prison. But, <laughs> Unrelated. <laughs> but I don't really like stuffed donuts too much. I don't and either. Boston cream is a little too rich. It's, it's custard, right? It's almost a little too rich. It's custard, right? It's custard. And yeah. I think it's a little heavy. It's way too much for me. Like and I like Claire custard, but it can, it can get it really much. eggy because custard is egg. It's goopy. Mm-hmm. It's goopy poopy. Remember when I was into making ice cream and I made that ice cream that was custard and you were like, something's wrong with this. Yeah. And I said, yeah, it's, it's it was soup. It's, it's cold custard. soup. <laughs> it was cold soup. <laughs> it was a, a savory ice cream. Uh, speaking of savory ice cream, not savory ice cream. I got these fat boy ice cream sandwiches from the grocery mart the other day. They call fat boy. Um, the traditional ice cream sandwich in a like a Klondike a Klondike size square. Uh huh. So delicious. So, so refreshing. Delicious. Yeah. Like so delicious. See, so you and I are on different ends of the aisle because I'm over on the. Uh... I'm doing frozen pizzas, frozen treats, Hagen Dazs. I'm doing whole milk, well, half in, and half. In my heart, I'm trying to have the. Um, what's the skinny kind of ice cream? Mama, no. No, but in my heart, I'm trying to have sorbet. That. Let's say, let's but in say. my real self. Yeah. My real, real self, when I'm alone at night at, in the dark, you're shoveling about lard into your. Yeah. I'm thinking about Cherry Garcia. 
was so wrong cherry with that? Cherry ice cream with dark chocolate yes. chips. Yes. And honey, you know what else? What else? That um, oh, fish food from Ben and Jerry's. Any of those Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Shove it up my ass. But see, here's the thing. You do that. It's just you don't do the whole pint. Oh, but I'm not doing that either. <laughs> you know what I can do? I could do it in thirds. Yeah. Uh, th- have yeah. the top third and we're done yes. now. The next night yes. you have a little more. Then yes. you're done now. Yes, yes, yes. Eating the whole. I've never eaten the whole. Oh, I eat, the, I eat a pint every time. Really? Oh, yeah. Every time. Don't, love you feel, it. don't you feel sick? No, honey. Love it. You feel like going, finally, I like I feel some weight. I feel it, it like weighs me down. When I go to bed. Well, that's why you don't like breakfast sandwiches. You're having a pint of ice cream first thing in the morning. No, not in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> David today had one of those delivered coffees again, and I said we're we're coming up to the talk Mama, where we, we're gonna have to talk about he your is delivered too, coffee. This is we gotta get the feds involved or something. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, get Lisa on the case. <sighs> I she's mean, she's an got enabler. connections. No, she's, she's got connections. But I mean, the swans, the moats, that's that's a luxury. That's decadence. No, but, but Lisa's the, the one who's always like, you know what? You work hard. Don't you want your home to be a, 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 don't you want your home to be a sanctuary? But it, yes. And on that note, it will be even more of a sanctuary when you have the perfect coffee. That's unmatched. how I feel. I said the perfect coffee oh, unmatched by no. anybody. Exactly when you want it. Hot. Because really, you drink coffee. Every the day. The coffee people at the stores they're not doing different than you can do at home, right? Also, or are they? Is this store coffee better? My grandpa used to say that, co- that McDonald's coffee was the best. McDonald's, uh, uh, it depends. But here's the thing. It's in transit. Mm. If it's hot, it's cold by the time it gets to you. It's mm. getting trampled. It's getting spit on. It's getting handled. It's getting uh, transported by a person who's underpaid. Now, if you're if you're going to splurge and get coffee delivered, where do you like best here? Um, I would just do, like if I'm going to splurge, I'm going to say, Get those nasty milkshake frappuccinos from Starbucks. Get four of them. I've seen you drink those desserts. Yeah, it's a milkshake. It's an Oreo cookie um, it's a milk, full it's fat a milkshake, milkshake with caffeine. It's about 1,700 calories, 2,500 grams of sugar. And I go like this. If I even sniffed one of those, yeah. I would get cankles. It's just so much sugar. Well, mama. We know. Zibide. It's big. Yeah. yeah. I like, I mean, this is a place called Alfred over in West Hollywood, and they have a rose um, like a rose black tea, so it tastes like flowers. That. Do you have? Oh, I think I have a good idea for uh, for a gift for you, for my tea shop days. If you like, do you like jasmine rose? Of course. Okay, yeah. jasmine rooibos pearl. The, the jasmine pearls where they unfurl. They're cunty. They're beautiful. They're very they're cunty. Super flavorful, but they're pretty. I think they're good. Okay. People, monkey picked oolong. Would you call me? <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Factor. The beginning of a new year is all about goals. My goal this year is to stop throwing my cigarette butts in the street. For your many ambitious goals, Factor is here to help you achieve each and every one of them. Fuel up fast with ready-to-eat, nutritious meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. Achieve and maintain your 2023 goals with Factor. Get America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit and start saving time, eating well, and living your best year yet. Too busy to cook? With Factor, skip the trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up, too. I love the fact that Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all I have to do is heat and enjoy. Just the other day, I ate the pesto salmon with cream spinach and tomato butter haricot vert, and guess what? It tasted oh so magnifique. With 34 chef-prepared, dietitian approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. Plus, you can round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of over 36 sweets, smoothies, juices, and more satisfying add-ons. Want to cut back on takeout? No problem. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. Head to factormeals.com bald50 and use code bald50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code bald50 at factormeals.com bald50 to get 50% off your first box. This episode is sponsored by Rakuten. Anyone who knows me knows that I love shopping and I love being online. So you can imagine my delight when I found a way to combine these two activities and get rewarded with cash back. Is this a dream? Actually, no, it's called Rakuten. Rakuten is an online shopping platform that rewards you for shopping. It's the smartest way to shop with cash back at over 3,500 stores across every single category, including fashion, beauty, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, and so much more. Rakuten deposits your cash back directly into your PayPal account, or they can send you a check. Membership is free, and it's easy to sign up. 
I signed up for Rakuten and I've already got cash back at some of my favorite retailers, including Adidas, Sephora, and Saks Fifth Avenue. Start all of your shopping at Rakuten. Your cash back adds up. Rakuten has 15 million members who are already saving. Get the free Rakuten app and download the free browser extension. Rakuten also finds you the best deals, sales, and coupons. They do the work of searching for coupon codes so you save time and money. I know this isn't my ad read, but I'm jumping in here because you guys know I buy a lot of makeup and beauty on cosmetics. And because of Rakuten, I become aware of deals at Sephora, Tarte Cosmetics, and you know I've been using a lot of Tarte products for like 10 years, Fenty Beauty. Um, there's so many great ways for me to save a little money because as you can imagine, I go through more makeup than the normal person. So what are you waiting for? Go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Cashback rates change daily. See Rakuten.com for details. You know how I bought David Masterclass for Christmas? You, you really did? I bought a Masterclass. Do you want to wear a suit? I bought him a membership to Masterclass. Oh, so he can choose any? So he can watch them. All of them? I think so. Isn't that how you do it? You subscribe for like per month and you can watch whatever you want? I hope so. Well, if I want to get that little number because I want to watch the David Lynch one. Well, I think it's for one person. Well, I know. Okay. Oh, so you want to steal it from him? No, I'll come to his house. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he can make coffee. Well, his house is my house, so I'm going to know about it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> even better. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he's been... So now when we talk about home stuff, should we get this? He'll be like, well, on the masterclass, they talked about the importance of sight lines in a room. And I was like, you're actually watching oh, I it. I love it. I love it. I I'm going to start it. I'm going to start adding classes. He's my Megan. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. start choosing which skills he has. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pump being a good boyfriend to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... Um, waking Co up at 6 a.m. to eat the pussy out, you know, <laughs> cooking for a loved one who's a cross dresser. Yeah, yeah. Do you like to get your pussy eaten out in the morning? Morning sex? Asshole? Is that too personal? Um, just morning sex. If general. we're being honest, David always, when we especially started dating, always wanted to have sex in the morning. Okay. And I would go along with it because yeah. I'm complicit. Yeah. You're, Sexually, uh, you if you start it, I'll probably do it. <laughs> I don't even have to like you. I'll go along with it because I don't have the courage wonderful to stop compliment. It. <laughs> so. I could just do You're that. A diehard romantic. But David wakes through. up with a, David wakes up every morning with a giant boner. Yeah, and I know about it because I'm being poked by him about twelve different ways. Little poke coming. Through. Uh, yeah, not a little poke. Um, yeah, a giant it's, a hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then Explores when I wake him up there and say good morning, he said shut up. <laughs> so now what, Mom? But that's a relationship that's going to last. That's true. It's got staying power. I in the morning, I, um, I, I mean, for me to wake up and feel like having sex. We have to have started dating two weeks ago where I'm just horny all the time. I'm not doing that. You have to have had to wander in my bed 10 minutes before I wake up. Henry Cavill. Yeah. Uh, because it's just. And wake me up with a little bell with, yeah, yeah. with brioche pancakes. A, br a bell attached to your erect penis. He is so unbelievable. So hot. Uh, I watched a movie with Henry Cavill, Army Hammer. E.T. <laughs> Oh, was it wrong? It, no, it was um, Under the Tuscan Sun. Mm. Um, the man from Uncle. Uncle uh, Buck. Uncle <laughs> John Candy. It all comes I back wished, to John Candy. I wish. Elizabeth Debicki, the villain, six foot four years, uh, six foot four years old, I was going to say. Um, six, uh, six two, this giant uh, statuesque diva. But these two men fighting each other, I couldn't help but wonder. What if they whipped out their dongs? What started, movie was this? It's called The Man from Uncle. It's an action movie. And why are they fighting? Uh, because one's a Russian spy and the other's a whatever, whatever. They're okay. Americans and Russians. They're, they have to work together though. Well, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but he, so Army Hammer's doing a um, goofy Russian accent. Henry Cavill's being uh, uh, impossibly sexy. They're both two sides of a very sexy coin that I would love shoved up my tight little cunt. I'm not in a horny phase right now, but lately men have been stopping me in my tracks. Do you know what a certain Donald Glover looks like? The from the from Lethal Weapon? No, he's an actor, right? Yeah, D Donald Glover from Danny. Donald are you Glover and Danny Glover. Danny Glover. I'm from... talking about Donald Glover. They are related, right? Yeah. Donald Nepo Glover. Babies. Yeah. Is, uh, wasn't oh, he in Star um, Wars? He is. Is them. Um, wasn't he in a Star Wars? Wasn't he the music, the musical act as well? No. Oh, isn't he? Isn't he an, a musical person? He's, Childish he's Gambino. This is America. He's right? like outrageously talented. I have had a crush on him since that This Is America video, and then when he started acting, I was like, "Is this a fucking joke?" Yeah. He is so hot, and he's got kind of buck teeth, like two big teeth, which are just very hot on him. He is so. If I met him in person, I think I would have. I think I would melt. You'd be like, "Is there a turd factory that you own? Because I would like to gobble them all <laughs> yeah. up." He is so he's so hot. Henry Cavill. When I watched, um, what is it, Hombre de Acela, the, si, si, si. the Man of Steel, 
Man of Steel. I was like, it's how is I'm also human. Yeah. I'm also male. I know. And so is he. I watched that Witcher mess where he has that horrible vanity, um, illegally blonde, um, wet wig on yeah. the whole time. And even with that unit on, oh mama, shit in the mouth. Shit in my parents' in mouth. The mouth. Black diarrhea all in my face. You don't even have to touch my wee wee. He is so hot. It's, How do people look like that? Uh, he just, and also like, he's also really nice and everything. He plays Superman so Because he well. is Superman. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's also a good actor. He's a really good actor. He's he was good so actor. good in Superman. Yeah. I don't even give a shit about Superman. It's a little uh, too white bread for me, but it was so good. Yeah. Um, I like my heroes Wonder more Woman, conflicted. Mama, throw it in the bin. You don't like Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman, throw her in the bin. That movie is Rotina Wesley. You don't Both like them. it? Oh, I didn't, Woman? Like, I didn't like the second one at all. Oh, the second one was a farce. I'm just, Gal Gadot, King, she can't act for shit. That woman couldn't act if she knew, if she was like, if she I was. I like Gal Gadot. You do? She yeah. is one of the worst actors of our generation. She's a great Wonder Woman. She's a pretty lady. And her name is Gal. So I guess that qualifies her to be woman. But, Wonder Gal. But well, Wonder, Wonder Gal. is not, her acting is not wonderful. Kalel, no. Like, it's so bad. Maybe you're right. It's so bad. Not to be gay, but. I mean, Robin Wright Penn like, as the fierce, uh, whatever. I like Tina. Women superhero shit. Of course. So she, maybe she's not good and I'm just gay and you, I like it. Yes, yeah, so you give her the benefit of the doubt. She is so bad that she can't get it from me. Like, you know, it's like Halle Berry as Storm. Do you know what happens to a frog when it gets electrocuted? Did you like that? The same thing that happens to everything else. Did you like that? Well, that's a writing issue. Yes, that t totally, totally. Did you like the Batman? Which, the, which the the most recent one? The Batman. The Batman. I, I, I did. Because let me tell you who turned in that movie. Who? Paul Dano. Paul Robert Pattinson. It wasn't Zoe Robert Kravitz. Pattinson, and it wasn't Zoe Kravitz. Although they were fine. It was Colin Farrell. No, Colin Farrell. Callista Flock. He, he was the gross, ugly, fat mayor. Oh no, the guy who plays the Riddler from Little Miss Sunshine. Paul Dano. Yes. Yeah, he was in There he Will Be Blood, amazing bitch. amazing in The Batman. No, he's incredible in everything. He plays like a 4chan Reddit, yeah. like incel version of the Riddler. It was so cunty. Have you seen There Will Be Blood? No. He plays... plays sheets? <laughs> no, There Will Be... My panties? That is There Will Be... Um... <laughs> the, the... Panty liner? <laughs> you got to see There Will Be Blood. It's one of the best movies ever made. What's it about? Um, Oil, oil, black tar. Okay. Texas tea, all prospecting. And um, that Paul Dano plays twins, twin brothers, two characters. One's a preacher. And then it is- Sugar and spice. Mama, yes, sugar and spice, TikTok, uh -huh. everything. It is Daniel Dave Lewis uh -huh. is taking the party and turning it all the way up to 11. Is it, wait, isn't it a Quentin Tarantino movie? No, it's a Paul Thomas Anderson, I believe. Yeah. I gotta watch it's it. It's perfect. Because it's- Paul Daniel, he, he eats. Mama, he eats, he and eats. chews, and leaves no crumbs. And, and Daniel Dave takes Daniel the whole Dave buffet of his ass. Yeah. He takes the whole buffet, craft services up his ass. Mm -hmm. It's like almost insane how good he is in it. Are you going to, if I watch that, will you finally watch The Visit? Absolutely, I With will. With the grandparents? Absolutely. I was looking for it because I thought it was Mama. No. Mama. That's Mama. Did you like Wait, Mama? Ma? We have Mama. I didn't. I watched the trailer with Ma, Jessica Shits. Mama and um, Mama Mia. Yeah, yeah. A lot of options. Mama. <laughs> what a, you know? What Meg Megan honestly gave me Ma in a in a great way. It she gave me she gave me a little sis, little little sis Ma. It, it, it could have been. I I hope that they do. Don't make me drink uh, alone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. I, yeah, I just, it was fun to see with people. If I had saw it alone at home, I probably would have been like, meh. It was fun to see with people. Because mm -hmm. those song interludes were hysterical. Great touches. Crazy. So funny. Um, but there was, I needed more gore, mama, more blood and guts. I know. I thought that that thing was a shotgun, not a water gun. But you got me borderline scared to watch The Terrifier. Mama, The Terrifier is disgusting. I'm nervous about that. I want to watch Because I don't one. like Crimes of the Future. Can I watch one scene with you today? But are you going to watch five, me while I watch yes, it? Yes, it's only five minutes long. But I, de I don't think you'll be able to finish it. Because I don't know if I will. But you love it. I don't love it. It's It was a very it's a unforgettable you, experience. Mm -hmm. Unforgettable movie going experience. The movie is half to... It, it should have been cut in half. Edited. It was not. It was badly edited. 
Have you ever seen the movie acted. Unforgettable? Unforgivable? Unforgettable. Isn't that the Beyonce movie? No, Obsessed is Beyonce. Obsessed, yeah. Do you remember when she kicks um, that blonde girl in the face and says, get off me, you crazy white bitch? Is that Ellie Larder? Yes. Yes. So cunty. Yeah. You crazy white bitch. But have you seen the movie with, um, what's her name? From oh, from Grey's Anatomy. Um, Smoker. Uh, Catherine Heigl. Catherine Heigl. Have you seen the movie with her and Rosario Dawson? Rosario Dawson's like the stepmom and Catherine Heigl's like the uptight ex-wife. No. Bitch. Is it fierce? Is it like horror? Funny. Pin straight, 613 blonde hair in the mirror, combing it like a psychopath. So, are, um, are you going to watch The Last of Us? Uh, is it a show, a series? Yes. Is it only one season? It's new. We don't know. Okay, then I will. Okay. I shall be tuning in. I played the game a bunch of times and it's... Um, is it Fierce Tina? Yes. And you know, I'm not a hater. So, but some people, when they like... I read the Stephen King book, so I can't watch the movie. But my, the two different I things. I can watch the show. It's two different and not, things. Not expect it to be the game because it's a movie, not a game, and yeah. not a book. Three different things. Do you think I? I don't expect my shoes one of those to be games, hats. This is one of those games where the acting and the animation pushed the limits of like storytelling, and and, and I mean, it, it made grown men cry. This game. What is up? With ga- Silent Hill in that pyramid head, why do I keep seeing him fucking people online? What are you talking about? I see porno versions of Pyramid Head from what? Silent Hill. Well, pyramid had his daddy. That's okay. Why. So that, he's what, daddy. He's daddy. He's fucking. He's got a great physique, and he's like silent and kind of. St- he, he's like Jason, except with a triangle. Yeah, and like very violent and sort of unrelenting. And there's something very hot about that. Right. Okay. So I would let Pyramid. Fucking we, even with that large, he had to drop the sword first. P- perforated colon. Yeah, but he's got this in these little videos I've been um perusing uh-huh. every once in a while, of course, for research purposes. Um, he's got he's got the dig of death. Yeah, good for him. Yeah, Silent Hill. I don't have like a big dick obsession, but Pyramid Head, you know, he's got a big demon dick. Yeah, I mean, he's not like I'm gonna fucking bring you pain. We, yeah, wait, like, that's not happening. Boop, 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 let me just get hard first. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. What do you think about really big, heavy jewelry on a dick? Okay, so not I'm not saying pearls. <laughs> you know, uh, a wrist um, Rolex. Yeah, like um, sapphires. Yeah, uh, and Peridot, But emeralds, what do you think about like when people wear their dick settings. and it's that big metal loop off the end? If so, for me personally, I it's um it's definitely not a turn on. It it verges on turn offs. Cock rings for me are actually quite a turn off. In what way? Um, the accessory, I, I just like the presence of it. Yeah, the presence of it. I, I, um, I, I find them to be not like. Have you ever uh, worn one? Uh, yeah, yeah. I find them in. I hate them. Incredibly They're uncomfortable. Horrible. And I think yes, I tear horrible. out about half my pubes. It's horrible. It's horrible. They don't even work. Like they just stay I, hard. You know, if you can. Stay I want hard. my dick to be hard, but I don't want it scary hard and slightly in pain yeah exactly. i don't want these things. yeah because i'm not into a cbt cock and ball torture you know but then people who like the, co- the 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 cock rings they're like well maybe you have the wrong size i'm like or maybe you like your dick to hurt and that's fine but yeah, i don't i don't i don't i i don't like the way i i really don't like the way they look and i also don't like um a, a, like accoutrement sexy accoutrement in the bedroom like leather harnesses or straps or things like that Girl. i know there was a cornea played out but i really d- Ooh, I really don't like the cock rings that are like a leather strap with a snap. Why? It just makes me like a snap in the skin. It just makes me feel like it. Mary, the rubber ones you have to like stretch no, to get off. That's you worse. Go, do, 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 do. And then it's there. But, but then you have to pull it off and you take off about 75 pubes. But not if they've all fallen out due to my autoimmune disorder. But yours are so gray. Yeah. yeah and it's so like thick. It's do you have a gray pube? No. No. How would you know though? Um, You're blonde. I'm blind too. <laughs> no, I'm I'm like dish. I have like brown. Ew! No one talked about my pubic hair. Gray pubes. Pubes is such a disgusting word. Pubes. pubes. You like pubes, bitch? What color are your pubes? Show me bitch. those pubes, bitch. I hate that what, word. Why don't we go down to like the Abbey and go to one of the go-go dancers and be like, show me those pubes? Yeah, can we get a glimpse of those pubes, baby? Big bushy pubes. Um, my friend, our friend Daniel was visiting. Yeah, and he was like. The grinder, the et cetera here. He's like, the the full fisting and the drug use. I said, this is Los Angeles. Mama, that is it's the trifecta. It's fisting, drug use, and then shitting. Yeah. Because it's you look at it, it's like, oh wow, is this a modeling catalog online here? And you're like, huh. Why is that a 10 talking to me? Oh, because they want me to go lay a turd in their mouth. Right. On Fairfax 
yeah. in Santa Monica. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. So. Well, well. This. Uh, thank you, Saul. So, thank you all so much, and happy Insurrection Day, January sixth. January sixth. It will live in our hearts and minds for quite a while. That was really shocking to watch last year. Marjorie Taylor Greene. I don't like her. She is a literal lunatic. I don't get into her. No, she's not. I don't even find her ironically entertaining. But you know, a lot of times with people across the aisle, I try to go, oh well, everyone's telling their own story. Everybody's trying their best. This ain't no with aisle. Her, it's really hard. This ain't no aisle. This is, the, this is a person who's talking about Jewish lasers. You know what I mean? This is a person who is not connected with any kind of consensus reality fit to govern a population of But people. just yesterday, I went up on the roof and helped David polish his laser. Wait, and that we had great weather today. <laughs> I know. Should we start calling David and asking for yeah. him to adjust the weather? But, uh, David, enough already. I mean, silver. I know you know a Goldstein. Come right. on, just get a sunny day. I don't. I just people out there believe that Jews control the weather. People are insane. Yes, people are insane, and yeah. then they become officials in office. That's what I don't understand. Just sit. Just sit. No, no, no. What, don't what sit home. Crazy people used to push a shopping cart. Oh no, 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 no. Go get a job. Own a business, own a crazy rifle business or something, but do not become a public servant. You, you fucking really freak. don't have to public service. They're not doing none of that. It's crazy. I want to do public service. My public service. I mean, I want to help the people I want. Yeah. I want to, I want to spout crazy conspiracy theories, um, live large and, um, just drum up uh, paranoia and hysteria in my constituency. Politicians should be paid nothing. Mama, they should get minimum, minimum wage. wage. Thank you. Say it again. Maybe not minimum wage, but like no, livable. Minimum you know. wage, because then we would have a, a livable wage. The yeah. minimum wage would be $400 an hour. Well, that's what I mean. It has to be dynamic minimum wage. Yeah. It has to be like, you know. They're servants. They serve the public. And yet they don't pay their taxes. And people should They're not fucking be, hookers. People should not be allowed to take money. Like, like from lobbyists and shit and corporations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we have an oligarchy, a capitalist oligarchy here. Big pharma. Like it. No, it sucks shit. Let's move it's to not Denmark. fair. Yeah. Freaky bleaky. Bleaky bleaky Denmark. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>